For centuries, the city skyline has been dominated by this, the magnificent castle. The building of this royal palace began in 1067 and was completed around 50 years later in 1121. But by 1345, its worth as a military stronghold had declined and so was handed over to the Sheriff of Norfolk and he created the county jail. I'm here to meet with Emma Taylor, who's the Norwich Museum's development officer, and she's going to be showing us an area that's not usually open to the public, except for organised tours. We're down here in the lowest part of the dungeons. It's very cold and damp and got a creepy atmosphere to it. Not everybody would have been imprisoned here. Only the very poorest prisoners who had no friends in the outer world would have been down here. We know from the records of prison reformers who visited in the 18th century that there will have been a layer of water over the floor, that the walls, as we can see today, are running with wet and damp. And the people down here have the barest minimum of food and drink available to them. And we think that at least one in four prisoners died down here of malnutrition or of unpleasant diseases from the appalling conditions. Emma, you've brought me now into where the death masks are, and in particular, these are all Victorian ones. Very interesting, a less than attractive gentleman here. Tell me a little bit about why the Victorians created these masks and, and who is this one? Well, let me introduce you to James Rush, who was one of the most notorious murderers executed here at Norwich Castle. You really are looking at him. This is exactly how he looked because this mask was taken from a cast um, taken from his body after he was hanged at Norwich Castle. And slightly gruesomely, you can see the the ridge where the rope um, cut him. These were created by people who in the Victorian people period believed that you had lumps and bumps on your head that related to aspects of your character. So they liked to study the lumps and bumps on the heads, particularly of murderers, to try and work out whether uh, the things that had made them evil can be sort of seen in their head. So Emma, you brought me down into this little section which has got some of the torture instruments and this is a ducking stool, so let's have a look and see how it all fits in. Right, well, it's very appropriate me sitting here, as my husband would say, because these were often used for scolding wives um, and the way you're stuck in it is this piece goes across here. There's a little foot piece, you can see, mm. that goes across my feet. Um, and my wrists go under these little bits here um, and they're all secured and I'm ducked in the river um, which in medieval times obviously was a very horrible thing to have happened to you because it was full of um, excrement and other very nasty things it make you could make you extremely ill. Well another fascinating insight into a little gem in this wonderful city of ours here at the dungeons in Norwich from me and James Rush who someone said had a certain similarity Mm, I'm not so sure myself, but anyway, goodbye from me and good night from him.